Okay, so a lot of people have been wondering about installing light whips on a Polaris General. Um, a lot of questions about mounting, and this is what I came up with. This is an expansion plug, a rubber expansion plug by Dorman. The part number is 570-008. It's an inch and three-eighths expansion plug. And is what I did was I took the bolt and the nut out. I drilled both of these plates on both sides to three-eighths of an inch and I drilled the rubber plug out three-eighths of an inch so I could put a three-eighths by 24 by two inch bolt in and a nut so I drilled out the plug the top and bottom washers and the rubber then I inserted the 3 8 bolt by 2 inch through the plug and put the nut on top. Because my light whip right here, the mounting bolt, and this is the light whip, the mounting bolt for it. is a 3 8 by 24 thread pitch. So after drilling the expansion plug, putting the 2 inch bolt in, putting the nut on, this is the finished product. I have this light whip all done. And as you can see, I just stuck the expansion plug in the hole tighten down the nut to tighten up the plug into the lock and ride system of the general then just screwed the light whip down on to the bolt and tightened it down and that's about it pretty simple and as you can see not going to come out of there very easily. Yeah, it hits the back of the cab a little bit, but mostly going to be, it's in the very far back hole, so there's not a lot you can do. Pretty durable. Plug stays in. Worked like a champ. So, anyway, if you like the video, if you like the idea, go for it.